This is a routine phaco emulsification uh, done in a case of a mature cataract with a very hard nucleus and pseudo exfoliation. So, initially, I am just washing off the povidone iodine and then with my 2.8 millimeter keratome, I am making my initial incision. After which, I place two side port incisions and stain the capsule with uh, tripan blue, which I expel with 2% HPMC. I then take a bent 26 gauge needle and fashion my uh, capsular excess which is going to be almost a 5.5 mm capsular excess or even larger slightly. These zonules look pretty uh, strong although there is the excel. I then uh, perform my hydro dissection making sure that the nucleus has become pretty mobile. Placing HPMC, I then use a Sinsky hook to rotate the nucleus and this achieves a lot of things. It first of all makes sure that the nucleus is mobile. Next it kicks up all the loose cortex. Once done, I take a very sharp 2 mm uh, sharp chopper as you can see in my left hand and uh, take my peco and perform what I have always been performing over the years in these hard cataracts, the wood woodcutters chopping technique of Dr. Vikas Mahatme. It's pretty effective. So even if you don't get the first chop to your liking, just go ahead, rotate and keep at it. You have to make sure that the tip is very well buried. Go to the mid periphery with your chopper, bury as deep as the tip has gone in and then engage FACO, go towards the tip and laterally separate. And that's a good job. You can see the entire PC through that. However, it's still attached in the center. So my job is not done. And you can see how deep I'm going in with my deep, uh, with my sharp chopper. Trying to separate these heminuclei with going at multiple levels and separating, and there I've got it. The whole chopping maneuver is completely unedited for you to appreciate how I go about performing these chops on these extremely hard cataracts. And even though the uh, fragment is large, you can chop as you bring out the large piece. Try not to have too many fragments in the anterior chamber. Just emulsify them so that they don't kick, start kicking against the endothelium. Uh, my vacuum is around 400. My uh, aspiration rate is around 40 ml and I am at 80% power. And I am using continuous FACO for the emulsification. 
Once all the fragments are out, obviously I'm just going to go ahead and clean up all the little bit of cortical fibers here and there. And this is step is this step is important since it's a pseudo exfoliation. I don't like to implant these lenses within the bag, so I am creating a space between the posterior surface of the iris and the anterior axis. And I am implanting a hydrophilic Rena model single piece foldable eye hole, and I am making sure that it goes into the sulcus. These lenses are extremely pliable. You can put them where you want. It's very easy. A better option obviously would be a three piece hydrophobic eye hole in the sulcus. And there's a trailing haptic. I'm making sure it goes in the sulcus. And then most of the time I try and capture the optic within the rexus. Although done here, you cannot see it under the pupil. And the final stages, I just aspirate all the uh, HPMC. And if the lens happens to come out, I just capture it by just tapping on the lens. And conclude the surgery by hydrating the wounds and injecting my intracameral. Thank you very much for watching.